Everybody learning with rats. Welcome to primary learning with rats. Today we are doing unit 7 lesson 5 the monkey and the law. Today we will try and understand what this lesson is teaching us or what we can learn from this lesson. So let's begin. It reads here once upon a time certain workmen were busy building a temple. Now it is telling us the beginning of the story. Now once upon a time certain workmen that is some people who were doing some work and what work were they doing? They were very busy and why were they busy? Because they were building a temple. So once upon a time certain workmen, some workmen were busy building a temple. Next now when it was noon, noon means Afternoon. You always wish your teachers no? good afternoon. So, any time between 12 to 4 is considered afternoon. After 4, we usually always say good evening. So, time from 12 between 12 to 4 is considered noon time, afternoon. So, when it was noon, what happened? Now, their workmen are talking among themselves. So, Ram Rao, let's go to the town for lunch. Afternoon is lunch time. All of us have our lunch between 1 and 2. So he's saying, Ram Rao, let's go to the town for lunch. But now there are two workers here. So we have Ram Rao and we have Sham Rao. So now Sham Rao says, they have a problem here. So here they are saying, let's hope no one touches that wedge while we are away. But this is after. First here Shamrao is speaking. So here Shamrao says, Okay Shamrao, I'll just put a wedge here and come. So now Ramrao is first calling him. Ki come, let's go for lunch. So what does Shamrao say? Shamrao is doing some work and he knows that he just cannot leave his work and come. He must first complete what he is doing and then he should leave. So he tells Ram Rao, Ki I can't just leave my work and come. I have certain things to do. Now before I complete this, what is he going to do? He is going to put a wedge. A wedge is a block of wood that is put in the gap. Like sometimes we use them as door stoppers. In the olden days, a small block of wood was used as a door stopper. It was called a wedge. So now they both are saying, Let's hope no one touches that wedge while we are away. Now they have shown us in this gap here. You can see this small piece of wood that is kept between this gap so that the tree does not close up. All the work will go in waste. So he's put a wedge over there. Now let's continue reading. Now, now they have left for lunch. Now once they have left for lunch, there is nobody there. Now what happens? Suddenly a monkey arrived. Now a monkey has come on the scene and monkeys do what monkeys do. They always like monkeying around. So now what does this monkey do? What is this piece of wood doing here? The monkey is wondering. I can see the log of wood. I can see it is cut. But why is this piece of wood pushed in over here. Why is it stuck in over here? I wonder what will happen if I pull it out. Now he's up to mischief. He wants to see if he pulls it out, what will happen? Ah, oh, it's tough. He's trying. He's trying to pull it out. And then he says it's tough. And as he was pulling it, out it came. The wedge of block came out immediately. Now, out it came and now the monkey is not very happy. He starts shouting, help, help. Now what happened once the wedge of wood was out? The gap closed in, trapping the monkey's tail. Now as we explained before, the wedge was kept so that the tree does not close back. Okay, how you have a book open no, and you don't want it to close back. So sometimes you put a 
page or a pencil or probably a ruler over there and then you leave so that the page does not turn over the book does not close over and when you come you can easily start reading again so in the same way as soon as the wedge was taken out the gap closed now the gap closed in trapping the monkey's tail the poor monkey cried in pain so now his ta tail is stuck in the log of wood so obviously he is in pain he is having a lot of pain and he is crying in pain but what is the lesson we can hear learn from this that we should not meddle with things that are not concerned to us which means if it is not something that you should be doing you should not touch it when your parents tell you at home also don't touch it don't touch it it could be something really important for them and then you may go and mess it up or if your friend says this is mine please don't touch it don't touch it it's okay it is theirs so what we should not meddle with things things that are not ours things that we are not doing we should not fool around with them we should not go and fidget with them we should not go and do things that we are not supposed to do this is the message that this lesson is trying to teach us though definitely i agree that they should have worded this out better so let's continue with the lesson exercise here it says the next one is learn and write the words neatly and the words are workman temple touch suddenly wonder building wedge lunch arrived medal trapping concerned now question number 3 is complete the following phrases so they have given us like they have written once upon a time there were two friends we can also write once upon a time there was we can write a monkey let's because the story is about monkey let's write a monkey once upon a time there was a monkey next one once upon a time there were again we can write either some friends some monkeys some children all of them would be right some children or you can write friends or you could write some men any of them would be correct i wonder something like where they were going so let's write i wonder where they were going or i wonder what they were doing next i hope i hope we can write something like they did well so i hope they did well or for times like ours we can write i hope they were safe you can choose either one of these sentences and then the fourth one is enact the story that is the monkey in the log story you can enact in your classroom or even with your siblings at home this completes our lesson the monkey and the log please do like share subscribe and leave a comment if you want us to teach anything more please do let us know in the comments thank you so much do remember to like share subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated on all of the latest videos please let us know in the comment section below what other lessons you would like us to make we would love to hear from you thank you for watching